All right, one last video, and then I'm gonna pass out. Uh, walk my dogs and pass out. Maybe make some dog shorts. I know you guys love that. Dealing with angry sellers, uh, I have noticed that as the recession, Joe Biden's recession has continued, the sellers are go getting more and more angry. Uh, it used to be, oh, we didn't agree on our price, but you know, good luck. And then they wouldn't say it. They were just like, okay, thank you, or something like that. Now they're saying, oh, you know, blah, 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 it's too low and too this. And you know, I always use a buy list as the basis. Now I can pay more than a buy list, but it really has to be something a little special for that to happen. Or, you know, in many cases, maybe for like Inuyasha or Fire Emblem Heroes, there's really no buy list available. So then I just kind of, you know, I'm much more flexible in, in those situations. But if Card Kingdom is going to buy your cards for X amount and they have a limit to quantity, I'm just going to go buy Card Kingdom because I trust that they have experts much smarter than me and not maybe not much smarter, but more more in tune in the market. I'm going to trust that Card Kingdom updates and buy lists every single day, sometimes every hour, right? Uh, depending on if there was a big announcement or something, the buy list will get instantaneously updated because they too know about the big announcement ahead of time. So people are getting angry. You know, I'm hearing sad story after sad story after sad story. There seems to be a lot of medical issues, uh, whether or not it is real, not real. It is, in my opinion, not really relevant. Uh, I don't really care. You know, I mean, it sounds terrible, but everyone has troubles. Everyone has issues. Everyone has something in their life that is consuming with a lot of money. I do as well. So. I kind of want to, the best way to do it is make it all about business because if the guy's telling you about his life, he's trying to make you feel sorry for him and then you can't agree on a price, trust me, the guy gets really upset and it's like, oh my gosh, you know, you're my best friend. How can you do this to me? And it's like, what? what? Um, so what you're seeing right now is kind of a very interesting dynamic where people are very desperate. You know, I made some videos um, earlier today about, you know, the desperate desperate sellers and are they panic selling and I was kind of hedging it but now like after a few more interactions so this video was made different uh, in a different time period than my other videos even though they might be uploaded in the same batch man these guys are desperate I mean I've never seen anything like this maybe like during COVID-19 when it first started but look if we don't agree on a price leave it you, you have out every opportunity to go out, prove me wrong, go out and find a better price or sell the card kingdom if that's what you wanna do. I'm not made from infinite amounts of money and I definitely don't need to buy your collection either. So part of this is kind of like beggars can't be choosers, it's also the flip of power. It used to be that collections were really, really hard. It, people wouldn't email me very often about collections and the collections they would email me about, they were kind of like, eh, you know. Now I'm getting a lot of great collections. It reminds me of like the beginning of COVID-19 when Grand uh, Magic Fest Houston got canceled. So everyone in Houston who was, including myself, who was looking forward to going to the event and sell cards, now like has nowhere to out the cards and they all come back to me. And that's how I've accumulated so many, so many uh, valuable magic cards. I only focused on magic at the time. I did pick up a Pokemon collection, which I very much regret. I did pick up a Yu-Gi-Oh collection, which I don't know if I regret it or not, because I don't actually know what the price is on any of these things. Um, this time around, I'm just focused on things I love. Magic, I love, um, but no more steel product. I'm not buying any more steel product. I'm only buying high-end singles. So I still will match buy list and give you a little bit of premium if it's you know a good collection. I'm very easy to work with. Always, you know, I'm here. I make videos every day. You see two videos every day. I'm not running away. Right? Like it's like I'm also a lawyer. Like there's a lot more value in me doing good business and having good customer service and making sure that you're happy uh, than vice versa, right? Because Again, it's not even like an, it's not even like a business. Like it's just me. It's just me, right? It's like one dude, and my reputation, and obviously, you know, many years and many years of being a patent attorney and so on. My reputation is 
you know, the worst would happen is like, let's say a huge pharmaceutical company wants to hire me as a patent consultant, you know, maybe a, a $50,000 project and then they go online and it's like some forum that says I'm a scammer, right? <laughs> well, okay, that would suck. Yeah, that, that would not, you know, that it wouldn't be in my best interest to even be remotely involved in scamming or something like that. Uh, and also, you know, it, they always say, hey, when you show your face, you show your face. When you don't show your face, you don't show your face. I mean, that's basically how you can do it. Are people desperate? Uh, yeah, they're hella desperate. Um, I kind of wanted to like, you know, oh, maybe I should give them a little ground today. I don't think I need to be gentle anymore. You're getting plowed in the mother effing blank. Um, because right now, these people who have so many boxes and so it's like, why do you have so many boxes of this stuff? Who in the right mind needs 40 boxes of Eternal Masters? Why do you have 200 boxes of War of Spark? Why do you have 80 boxes of Modern Horizons? Like this doesn't make any sense. Who would buy this? I get it. You know, you buy one box and you open it and it's kind of fun. But like after that, like what are you going to do? Like how are you going to sell 80 boxes of Eternal Masters like, or 40 boxes? Like who would buy that? At any price. I'm not even talking about like the, I'm not even talking about like a cheap discount price. I'm talking about like at any price. Because people can buy the uh, $1,000 packs, which is more exciting, more new. And I've, if you open an internal, if I open an internal master's box right now, it would get almost no views. You open that $1,000 pack, no matter how much you guys hate it, I know you guys will watch it. And that to me has marketing value, of course, right? So uh, back to kind of uh, where I am with this whole situation, and I'm, I'm just gonna be very frank with you. There are not, I, I watch the buy lists almost every day, and they're being pulled right now. They're being pulled. Dave and Adams used to have the button right, right here, like, you know, and now like buttons like hidden, and you have to email them now. But they used to have like a public button that you could click on and they would give you all the sell list and so on. But now that button has either been hidden or I can't find it. And now the only button that goes to it when you click on sell is uh, you have to email them. Card Kingdom, they put their limits on seal to four now on a lot of the more valuable boxes. Even the really great boxes, they don't want a ton of them. They just want four of them. And the prices have continued to go down and down and down. So what people don't understand is the price you see on eBay buy it now, the price you see on Amazon, they're not real prices because no one ever buys at those prices because everyone buys cheaper. And for a store to stock that much of a same product that again, the interest is simply not there would be insanity. Uh, Strike Zone Online, they, they have changed their buy list. Uh, they're my local competitor here in Houston. Really good guys, I do work with them. I have worked with them in the past and they're good dudes. My point is things are going to shit and I'd much rather have my money than your cards. Unless you have like something new. I actually bought some Inuyasha cards today. I'm kind of excited, a little bit regretful because I paid a lot more money than I should. But at the same time, you know, again, it's one of these things where like I do love Inuyasha and I spent a shit ton of money on my uncut sheets that it would blow your mind. But if I said the number, I you wouldn't you all be like you're an idiot. But I've never seen them, and now I own the biggest collection. To my knowledge, I own five of them. I think the other dude who owns them owns two. And I again, maybe he'll argue all oh, his two sheets are special than mine. I own my five sheets. Okay, they're mine. So I would argue because I have a social media follower, something much huger than his. I own the sheets that are important because they're mine, right? They're a, the provenance, if you will, goes through me. And I would never sell them, of course. Maybe I would sell my dupes, but definitely not my original ones. Not, not that they're not all originals. I have two dupes of the second set. And anyway, I gotta make like a video show you, but like I'm trying guys to make these collection videos. Like I did the biggest meta X video, got like hundred views. Not too many people interested in Meta X, I think. Maybe if I mistitled it Meta Zoo, it would get like a, way more views. The biggest Meta Zoo collect. Oh, by the way, guys, we're talking about Meta X. Sorry for the mid-clickbait. No. Um, but yeah, I had to go to storage, get my Inuyasha cards out, try to organize them to the best of my abilities, and then I can show you off the largest Inuyasha collection 
online. So it probably is going to take me another week to get, you know, shit together and stuff. I mean, it kind of also depends. Uh, and then I can show you the biggest fire emblem collection online. I'm still waiting for a shit ton of boxes to come from Japan. I don't think I'm going to, in fact, Amazon has limited me from buying boxes now. And I didn't know this was something they could do. I can no longer buy boxes of the same thing because I am, you know, even though I'm the only buyer, I'm now like, uh, I'm, Amazon has limited it. So when I add it to my cart and I check out, it just puts the quantity at zero again. So it's not that I, I, want, I stopped buying Fire Emblem, it's that I physically cannot buy no more. Because the main source that I was buying from Amazon has now completely limited. I mean, I'm not talking about, oh, they won't let, I can get one or two. No, 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 I, they, they get me zero. So like the whole Fire Emblem chase through, I think I'm at 55 SR pluses now probably over 200 R pluses and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I have about 40 boxes still coming. So that was before they banned me uh, from buying more boxes from Japan, which is unfortunate. Now, maybe next month they unban me and I can start this over again, but I doubt it. So I, was, I asked customer service what was going on and they said that you bought too many and now for their other customers, they are restricting my ability to buy them. Which is dumb, I mean, if the dude in Japan wants to contact me direct, contact me direct, because I know Amazon fleecing the blank out of you. Anyway, bye guys.